in these hours of probation, May 1. We believe without a shadow of a doubt that Christ is coming soon. This is not a fable to us. Indeed, it is reality. When Jesus comes, he's not coming to cleanse us from our sins. When Jesus comes, he's not coming to remove from us the defects in our characters. When Jesus comes the second time, he's not coming to cure us from our infirmities or our dispositions. Uh, notice what the Word of God says. The Word of God says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2, it says, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Let us consider the two words, uh, time accepted. As we consider time accepted, uh, we understand that if there is a time that is accepted to call upon his name and he would hear us, there has to be a time that is not accepted when we call upon his name and we would not hear, uh, he would not hear us. Uh, but one may wonder what is this entire scenario about. Uh, this speaks to probation. Uh, probation is a period of time by which God would give us uh, to call upon his name. And he says, whoever call upon his name will be saved. But understand that there must come a time when God must uh, close the doors of mercies. Uh, like he did uh, in the days of uh, Noah, when he closed the doors of the ark. Uh, uh, when is the time to accept him? Uh, the Bible says, now is the time to accept him. Now is the day of your salvation. Uh, you might be wondering when to give your heart over to Jesus. I want you to know you should not hesitate. And now is the time to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. This text speaks of urgency now is the time why not trust his word uh, today let us ask God for the power and the will and the desire to accept him every day that's the power of uh, the word let us pray father in heaven grant us the power grant us the motivation grant us the desire to accept you every day oh father because now indeed is the time uh, to accept you we thank you so much in Jesus name amen Remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.